Uh, tell me about your worst day on the bike. Let's see, uh, worst day on the bike. Um, there's a lot of them, <laughs> so let's see. Uh, gosh, you know, recently my worst day on a bike, um, and, and there's a lot of ups and downs. This is something that is interesting that people think that, you know, if you've won a bunch of races, you're a professional athlete, that everything is somehow easy for you. And that, you know, oh, I just go win a race, no problem. Um, and I'll, you know, there's more failures than wins for sure that people don't see. They don't see the dark times or me crying or throwing my bike. You know, people don't see that. And even really recently, um, I was in a race in Brazil, um, seven day stage race and day two, I was totally heat stroke, lying in the fetal position on the side of the road, you know, wanting to quit, telling my teammate, just go on without me, you know, I mean, seriously, like dangerously, uh, you know, the temperatures were 120 degrees and it was a 140 kilometer stage. It was only stage two of seven, you know, and I was in a pretty dark place. Um, and literally, yeah, wanting to just be left by the side of the road in Brazil, you know, in a ball. And uh, <laughs> that was a pretty, pretty hard day, but you know, Allie got me through it and we worked it out. And you know, the, the fastest way to actually get through it was to just get to the finish line. And because there was kind of no option for a rescue. And so we just trotted and walked the bikes and, you know, put water on her head and, you know, got through and uh, and finished the stage, but and then the next day went way better. So you know it was kind of the ups and downs that happen all the time with with riding a bike or doing any sport. Well, in contrast to that, what's one of your you know, <laughs> biggest highs on a bike? One of your best moments? Probably the last 24-hour solo race that I did um, was in Canmore. Um, it was a really cool experience. I was going for a three P, you know, so. Um, a big target on my back but what was really cool about that day is it was very technical riding which isn't my forte necessarily and so you know I was riding well uh, had a, my best friends as crew members and um, my boyfriend Greg well husband now it's hard to say that <laughs> he was also racing single speed and we ended up uh, both of us defending our titles and both winning world championships on the same day on the same course and it was really cool to, for a solo experience to actually, you know, kind of be part of a team and share that with him and share, share that with my friends. And a lot of people think bike racing is solo, but it, it's definitely not. So that was a pretty cool day. That is cool. <laughs> and then we fell asleep at awards, you know, as they're calling her name, because basically you can't stand after a 24 hour solo. And yeah, there's no kind of not a lot of celebration or partying or, you know, you have, you know, food and beer and then fall asleep in your plate. <laughs>